What is going on everybody? It's Proving It back at it with another GTA Online video. So guys, today I am bringing you a 100% legit, 100% solo method on getting the most out of the import-export business. Now, after watching this video, you, I'm basically going to be helping you guys make millions and millions of dollars per day using this very simple money grind method. Step by step guys, so be sure to give it a watch guys. It's gonna be a good one, okay? So anyway guys, before we get into the video, be sure to smash the like button if you enjoy it and also consider subscribing if you are new to see more content like this in the future. And of course, if you watch this video all the way through guys, that would be helping me out massively. It'll be helping the algorithm as well. So be sure to do that. All that aside, let's get right into today's video. So let's go over the things that you're going to need before we get started. So you are going to definitely need a CEO office. You are most definitely going to need a vehicle warehouse. You're also going to need a terabyte. And also, it's not essential, but you're also going to need a cargo bob. Now, there are two ways you can do this. There is um, one with a cargo bob. The cargo bob is a lot easier in my opinion, but if you don't own a cargo bob or you can't afford one guys that is absolutely fine i will show you the method without a little bit later on in the video okay now guys before we get started with this whole method the first thing i want you to do is i want you to go to go to your bunker your nightclub basically any passive income business i want you to buy supplies for seventy five thousand dollars if they're not making money if they're making money that is absolutely great just make sure basically make sure that they are bringing money in before we get started also make sure that your warehouse technicians are signed for your nightclub as well that way we are going to get the most out of this method so once you've done that go uh, call up pegasus uh, you're going to want to basically call in a cargo bob if you own one as i say once again if you don't own a cargo bob guys that is fine i will show you the method without a little bit later on in the video so call that go and pick it up fly over to your vehicle warehouse and then we're basically going to sell, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell a top range car, okay? Now you're gonna to wanna to sell your car first because there is a 20 minute cool down every single time you sell a vehicle. So once you sell one, you can't sell another one for another 20 minutes. So if you sell your car first, uh, basically that is gonna kick off the 20 minute timer, okay? So you're, also, you're always, always gonna to want to sell to specialist dealer. Uh, just to make it clear as well guys, this week is a double money week at the time this video is being recorded. So um, import, export, vehicle sales are double money and VIP work is also double money as well. I forgot, I forgot to mention that at the start of the video guys, but I just thought I'd mention it now, okay? So, so anyway, once you have done your modifications, park your car, you wanna sort of park it away from any sort of street furniture, like lampposts, pylons, stuff like that, and away from any other vehicles as well. Jump into your cargo bob, and uh, we're going to want to hook the cargo bob up to the vehicle. Now, press uh, so take off, press the right arrow key. Uh, that will drop your hook down. Now, the hardest part to, about the cargo bob, in my opinion, is actually hooking it up to the vehicle. Um, but a nice, easy way, guys, you're going to want to basically look for the highest point on the car. Uh, but like cars like the Tyrus, it is notoriously difficult to actually hook the car up. Uh, with that, you're actually going to want to uh, look for the rear, the rear spoiler is actually the highest point on the car, believe it or not. Um, but we've done that with the uh, this ETR one. Now, as soon as you um, basically point towards the yellow marker, you're going to want to go to your first person view, look at your altitude meter uh, actually inside, and uh, the magic number is 1,500 feet. That way, it's well above any NPCs that may spawn on the ground. It's way, it's above any buildings that may be in the city and uh, any and, any mountains as well outside. Um, of course, if, if you get to a low a, a mountain, guys, you might need to climb a little bit higher. But generally, 1,500 feet is the number. Now, so fly out to the point on your map. Now, just be very careful with the cargo bob. If you move it about too much, the car could move about quite a lot. And then I have actually, before, I have actually managed to detach the vehicle. So, just be very careful on that. Fly out, uh, basically the marker, I'll see a lot of people time and time again, they try to, they try to sort of get the, the, the vehicle in, in little gaps. If, as long as you're hovering sort of like around the marker, you'll still deliver the vehicle and you'll get the full $100,000, in this case 200000 
because of um, the double money week. So very straightforward, very quick, okay? That is the best way, that is the way you're going to get full money. So you're having to pay $40,000 for modifications, but still you're going to be net profiting $160,000 per vehicle, which is easy, easy money. So once you've sold your car, that is going to set off the 20 minute cooldown period. So once you've done that, I want you guys to call in your terabyte, jump on your Mark II, head into your terabyte, and we're going to launch a client job, okay? Now there's, there's two client jobs which we're going to focus on. One is going to be robbery in progress, the other is going to be a diamond shopping. So we'll show, I'll show you robbery in progress first. These are very easy missions, guys. So what you want to do is page will basically hack into the camera system. You, you're going to want to basically uh, scroll through all the cameras until you get to the robbery in question. So this is actually Fleaser Bank out in the sticks. So once you found it, go to your interior camera as well. That will then confirm that that is the robbery which has taken place. So once you found that, jump on your Mark II, head out of your tailbite. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you send your tail. You're going to want to send your tail by straight back into storage. That way, when we want it again, we can call it back in straight away, and there is uh, there is no waiting time. It's it's already available. Okay, so fly out to the to the bank. There will be a juggernaut which actually walks out of the bank. They there's some cops on the ground. He's pretty much going to kill the cops for you. Okay, so that is one th less thing that you're going to need to do. So he should take care of all the cops. Once he is take, as soon as he's taken them cops out, you're going to want to uh, to take him straight down. Just fire what you should be able to just fire one missile with the Mark II. And uh, there might sometimes be um, a bank robber in, in the doorway as well. If there is, you might just need to fire a couple of missiles there. And you're going to want to. You might even sometimes be able to just to just to move your Mark II inside. But you want to, either way, whether you're using a Mark II, whether you're using a Karuma, you want to park it right next to the door so you can uh, you can quickly get the um, uh, get the gold or whatever you or, or whatever you need to get, and then uh, get straight out of there. So there'll be cops outside. Just make sure you make a quick getaway. As I say, if you park it by the door, you should be able to jump straight back on your Mark II and get away as quickly as possible. Once you've done that, head back towards the city. Call Leicester. And uh, basically get, get the cops off your back, remove wanted level, and then fly out to the point on your map. And there we go. Straight away, $30,500. Very quick, very easy. So once you've completed that, you are gonna want to fly, actually fly back into the city if you haven't already. This time we're going to do a VIP mission. We are going to do Headhunter, okay? As I said at the start of the video, or I mentioned before, at the time of doing this video, VIP missions are double money this week. So, some very good, quick, easy money here. So, with Headhunter, I've covered Headhunter in the past, I will cover it again. You basically got two moving targets, and you have two stationary targets which you have to go and take out. So, you've got four in total. So, basically, bearing in mind, you only have to take the main target out, there are other NPCs around as well. You just have to take the main target out, which bear in mind, you have limited missiles on the Mark II, so you want to save as many as possible, okay? So, with the vehicle target here, I'm basically going to fire two missiles at the vehicle, wait for the driver to get out, fire a third one, that's him down. Easy peasy, okay? So, once you've done that, look on your map again. We're going to go to the next location. So, this is another stationary target, so you want to... You want to try to uh, preserve as many missiles as you possibly can. Try and just take out the main target if you can. You might, you might sometimes, uh, you might sometimes have another one which you might take out by accident. That's absolutely fine. So then the last target is going to be another vehicle. So once again, fire one missile at the vehicle, fire another. That should then make the NPCs get out, and then fire one more at the driver. And there we go. $42,000 on that one, should be 21, but because it's because, but because this was a double money and bonus event where this video was being recorded, we've made 42, okay? So once you've done that, call in your terabyte straight away. As you can see, we've actually got a little bit of cooldown. If you have, that's absolutely fine. Just wait for the cooldown period to end. 
And this time we're going to launch another client job mission. That is going, and we're going to do a diamond shopping this time. Now, the game will tell you to enter the terabyte. It will tell you to actually drive the terabyte up to the location. You don't actually need to do that. Just head out to your Mark II, mark this exact location on your map. It's, this is basically the Evangelico Jewel Store, which you um, steal in story, which you rob in story mode. This is, this, is like the, this is like the very first heist in story mode, which you actually do. So you want to fly out there. There'll be some targets outside, which you'll need to take down. Once again, this is another very straightforward mission. So there's some guards, which you will need to take out. Just fire, just fire a few missiles at them. Um, take out as many as you can before actually going in. But once again, park your Mark II next to the door so you can very quickly jump in and uh, make a quick getaway. I, I actually messed up a little bit on this one, to be fair. It was <laughs> I, um, I, I missed the um, I missed the guard a few times. So take the guard out that is carrying the um, diamonds. So then, as soon as you've done that, jump straight back on your Mark II. The good thing about this mission is that the drop-off point is always going to be in the same place. So as soon as you've done that, head, head out, uh, head out of the city. Call Leicester once again. Get the cops off your back. The drop-off point is always going to be the same. So fly out there, deliver the diamonds. Boom! Another thirty thousand five hundred dollars. Very simple. Very quick. So once you've done that. Head back into the city again. We're going to launch another VIP mission now. This one is going to be sightseeing. Now, this generally is a lot easier than headhunter. Headhunter takes a little bit more skill. But with sightseeing, all you have to do is you have to just do uh, three very simple puzzles. That will then reveal the location of uh, a package. Basically, you don't even have to deliver this package anyway. You literally just have to go and collect them. So that hack I did there. Basically, don't overthink that one. All you have to do is look for the first two numbers, okay? So, 7145, which is what we was looking for. The rest of the numbers will fall into place. So, what, so we pick that package up. Uh, basically, this next, launch the next, bring up the site see app, basically. And we're going to do the next puzzle. Basically, you just got uh, you just got some letters which you just got to match up. It's always going to, it's always going to come to like a... a a word like cream pie or you know something something stupid you know <laughs> so that will then reveal the next package go to that location collect it and then launch the site see up again this one's a very easy one as well all all these hacks are extremely straightforward you just have to match these ones you just have to match the lines up that'll then reveal the location of the last package the problem is with site see it is that if you, you're still best off starting it in the city. The thing is with Headhunter, if you actually, if you start it in the city, all your targets are going to be actually in the city. Sightseer is not like that. Even if you start it in the city, sometimes the, the you know, the, the packages might be dotted all around the map. You might have to go as far as Polito Bay, which is the furthest out, of course. But all in all, guys, it, it just takes a little bit longer. But very simple, very quick once again. With that one, we made $43,000 on double money. Okay? So once you've done that, actually call back in your terabyte. And this is when you're going to want to source another high-end vehicle. So you're going to want to make sure you source top-range vehicles all the time, guys. A way to do that, I will do another video on this again as well at some point. If I get around to doing it this week, I will. Um, but basically, if you if you hold 10 standard and 10 mid-range cars in your vehicle warehouse, then you will only source top-range cars. So we're going to sell this vehicle here. Um, this is the way without the cargo, Bob. Now, um, basically, that warehouse there, you want to, want to turn left. Um, and this one, basically, you'll get some NPCs if you are in a solo public session. I actually messed up a little bit here. I was <laughs> the the targets did actually the, the NPCs did actually spawn a little bit fast. So uh, I did actually die before I actually managed to. Basically, you want to you want to try and take cover behind that wall, and uh, you'll get four waves of these NPCs. So bear in mind they are after you. They are not after the car. If you stay in the car, they will sh start shooting the car, and you will lose a lot of money. Okay, could potentially lose quite a bit of money. So basically, you're going to want to uh, take these NPCs out. So. As I say, I died, so there might be a little bit, there might be spawned a little bit all over the place. 
So just take them out. You'll get, as I say, you'll get you'll get about four ways of them. You'll get two vehicles, two NPCs in each. There we go. We managed to take cover behind this wall now. So we go. We've got another. We've got another two two cars coming down here. Take care of them. If you are lucky enough to have your explosive rounds, guys, you can just take the cars out without the NPCs actually getting out. That makes life a lot easier. If not, as I say, uh, it will vary depending on each warehouse that, that uh, you have, which does vary on that. So just just work out whereabouts, where where, the, where there's a bit of an open space where you can abandon the car, basically, and then work out where you can sort of take cover. But uh, that's that to me is the best place when uh, I've got I've I mean I've just got the cheapest I've just got the cheapest vehicle warehouse. So once you have four waves, jump back in your car, and then basically take a very steady drive. At that point, we've still got nine minutes left. You've got plenty of time. Take a nice, nice steady drive. Try not to crash, and that way we can still make the full two hundred thousand dollars. So all in all, guys. Very simple, very quick, there we have made $160,000 net profit. So let's see how much money we are actually making. So let's start with the car sales. So you're going to be making $200,000 each vehicle. Bearing in mind though, you are going to be losing $40,000 on modifications. There is absolutely nothing you can do about that. So, but all in total, you're still in net profiting $160,000. You should be able to manage three car sales per hour, so times that by three, you'll be making up to $480,000 per hour. Now, bearing in mind, just to make it clear, you do have to be perfect on that. That is picking up no damage whatsoever. Chances are you are going to be picking up a little repair bill here and there. So, you know what I mean? Just just, just take this chart as a bit of a guide, really, guys. But anyway, let's, co let's continue on. Let's move on to client jobs. You should be able to make do four of them per hour. 30,500 each, that is going to be $122,000 per hour. Your headhunter and sightseer, your VIP missions, which are double money at the time that this video is being recorded. So that is $170,000 in total. As I say, that is on double money. So a lot of money to be made on this little method that we've been doing here. But do not forget your passive income. During the time that we have been doing that, your bunker has been cooking up, your nightclub has been cooking, and so have all five if your MC businesses, if you have them on the go as well. So your bunker should make up to $57,500 per hour. Your nightclub should make up to $60,000 per hour if you have it all set out correctly, like your warehouse technicians all, all set up as required. And if you have all five of your MC businesses on the go, they should make up to $120,000 per hour so you're going to be making just over, this is, a bear in mind, this is the absolute maximum you'll be able to, to do, just over a million dollars per hour. Chances are, as I say guys, just use this chart as a guide, don't take it word for word, because it, it does it does have a big in, indication, depends on whether you are good at you, um, you, you import, export, depends on what sort of transportation you use, whether you're using a Mark II, even if you're using a Buzzard or, or a Karoom or something like that, that is, they are also good vehicles to use. So the thing is with import export is that it is very irregular profit. If you if you pick up like a ten to fifteen thousand dollar repair bill, you could you could lose some serious money on this. Okay, so I mean I'm quite lucky. I mean I I don't really pick up much damage. You know I I tend to a lot of the time I tend to get the most amount of money possible, but definitely take definitely give this method a go this week guys i mean it's definitely good to mix up the caper eco ice and all that this is the only thing really which actually gets anywhere near it okay it's the only thing which sort of competes with it which is not a bad thing so it is it is good to take a little break from time to time when you first start doing this method you're not going to be very good to begin with but eventually over time you do get into a bit of a rhythm i mean i was absolutely terrible when i first started okay <laughs> absolutely terrible but you do get into a bit of a rhythm with it, you know, you do get used to it, you do get better over time. And of course, the, the better you are at it, the more money you should bring in. Okay, guys, so definitely give it a go this week. And that, I think, is going to wrap this video up. If you have enjoyed it, guys, and you found it useful, be sure to smash the like button. It would be muchly appreciated. And of course, 
If you are new, consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. And if you do that, do not forget to hit that bell icon, turn on all notifications so you do not miss out on anything that gets uploaded to this channel, okay? So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I will see you all on the next video.